Hello friends, welcome back, hearty welcome to you. In this session, let's try to understand how to find out the sum of all n digit numbers that can be formed using n non-zero digits. What's the meaning of that? So let's take a simple example and see. Let us say we have been given digits 1, comma 2, comma 3, comma 4. Then we are interested in finding out sum of all four digit numbers all four digit numbers using 1 comma 2 comma 3 and 4 without repetition first of all how many numbers we can form which are non-repetitive digits are non-repetitive using 1 2 3 4 let's try to understand that first that means I have four slots to be filled I have four digits obviously the first one will have chance of can be any one one or two or three or four so it has four options can be one or can be two or can be three or can be four let us say that we have taken the first one as one any one of them then the second one will, will have only three options and the next one will have only two options and the last one will have only one option so that's nothing but equal to 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 which we also call as factorial 4 which is equal to 24 so you have four options you have to select four digits then always it will be factorial 4 or 24 so by that I understood that I can form 24 four digit numbers using 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 now what we will do we'll take some time and try to chalk down all the chalk out all the numbers which are formed then we will see how to find out the sum of them okay right so first thing let's write down all the numbers starting with 1 we'll write down here all the numbers starting with 2 we'll write down here all the numbers starting with 3 then we will write down here all the numbers starting with 4 so first let me start with 1 1 if I fix it in what is this position units tens hundreds thousands position if thousands position is fixed with 1 I have 3 slots to be filled with the 3 numbers that's nothing but equal to factorial 3 R6 what is the meaning of that we will we can form six numbers which are starting with one so let us see what are they first I will say one two is fixed here one two three four then I will say one two is again fixed three and four will become four three now then I will have third is fixed at uh, hundredth position then I will have one three t two four 1 3 2 4 then I will have 1 3 4 2 then next will be 1 4 2 3 and 1 4 3 2 similarly we can fill the next one also if I go to the next one I will have 2 1 I fix it with 1 I will have 3 4 then I will have 2 1 4 3 the next will be 2 afterwards if I take 3 I will have 2 3 1 4 and 2 3 4 1 then I will have 2 4 1 3 and 2 4 3 1 so you can see starting with 2 I can form 6 numbers starting with 1 6 numbers what is this 6 nothing but factorial 3 remember that that will be useful to us let's go to the next 3 what will be the numbers that can be formed 3 fix with 1 I have 2 and 4 then 3 1 are fixed I will have 4 2 then 3 2 are fixed I will have 1 4 then 3 2 are fixed next one will be 4 1 and afterwards 3 and 4 if I take 3 4 1 2 
then I will have 3, 4 and 2, 1. So these are all the numbers which can be formed starting with 3. Now let's go to the last one. The last one is 4. So 4, 1 are fixed. I have 4, 1, 2, 3. Then I will have 4, 1 and 3, 2. Then I will have 4, 2 and 1, 3. After that I will have 4, 2 and 3, 1. Then I will have 4, 3, 1, 2 and the last one will be 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay. Now these are the total 24 numbers which can be formed with 1, 2, 3, 4. This should be pretty much clear. It's very easy to write them down. Since we want to always whenever you want to prove something take a small simple number may not be 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3 it should be enough 3 digit number. So try to see what is the pattern based on that we should be able to derive the formula. right? So let's move forward go to the next step. Now what we will try to do we will take each number and we will try to expand it. We will try to expand each number. What's the meaning of that? What is 1234 nothing but equal to 1 into 1000 plus 2 into 100 plus 3 into 10 plus 4 into 1. So what we will try to do now, we will take first 1000 position, we will add all the digits, we will multiply that with uh, 1000 because the place value is 1000. Then we will take all 100 position numbers, we will add them and we will again multiply that with 100. Similarly, we will do go on. So let us see what happens. So if I take 1000 position, what I have in 1000 position, I have, this is the starting, so I will not consider it. So I have 6 numbers which are starting with 1. So if I take 1000 position in the first, co if I take the first numbers all starting with 1, I have 6 1s, then 6 2s, 6 3s and 6 4s. Can I write it down as 6 into 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. Remember that 6 is nothing but factorial 3 that will be useful to us in forming the formula. Okay, just don't forget that that 6 is coming from factorial 3. Okay, 6 into 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. What is the place value of 1000 into 1000? Now, can you do for me the second 100th, 100th position? How many 2's are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, after that, how many 3's are there? 2 3's, 4 3's, 6 3's. Similarly, if I look at 4's, 2 4's, 4 4's and 6 4's. So I see that every number is repeating 6 times. So 6 into 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 again and multiply that with 100. Next time, it will be 6 into 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 multiply that with 10. You can see the pattern now. That's very evident. The next one will be 6 into 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 into 1. So this is the sum of all the digits of all the numbers we just added the place values. We added 1000 first, then we added hundreds, then we added tens, then at the end we added all the unit positions. So what is this nothing but? 6 into, I can take 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 is common in all of them. So this part I can take common. So that's nothing but 6 into 3 plus 3, 6 plus 4, 10. Multiply that with 1000 plus 100 plus 10 plus 11. Can I write it down one time? That is nothing but 1000 plus 100 plus 10 plus 1. So what this is equal to? This is equal to 6 is nothing but factorial 3 multiply with, yeah, we'll write down the answer before that. That's a 6 into 10 into 1111. That will be your answer. Okay. Now what, wh how it came? Factorial 3 into 10 is nothing but sum of 1, 2, 3, 4 and multiply that with 1, 1, 1 
how many times we did four times so can i say one 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 like that how many times it is n times or we did here four times we'll write it for this one specific one 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 four times so this is the formula now let's put it in n fact n format suppose you want to find out for n if i want four digit numbers this is becoming three factorial so can i say n minus one factorial multiply that with sum of all the digits sum of all n digits non-zero digits without any repetition and multiply that with one 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 like that n times that's a formula which we can get so now suppose somebody comes and asks asks us one two three digits i am giving you find out all the sum of the sum of all the numbers which are formed with 1 2 3 without repetition so what i will do now i know n equal to 3 so immediately i will say 3 minus 1 factorial multiply that with sum of them 1 plus 2 plus 3 and uh, how many n is 3 so i should go for 3 ones that's nothing but equal to 3 minus 1 factorial is 2 2 into 6 12 12 into 11 that's equal to 13 32 so you can cross check this because 1 2 3 is very simple you have only 6 1 2 3 1 3 2 then i will have 2 1 3 2 3 1 i will have 3 1 2 and i will have 3 2 1 that's it we just add them up 123 350 3 2 5 8 9 11 12 I have 1, 3, 6, 7, 10, 11, 13. I have 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 10, 13. You can check that. That's 1332. So the formula to remember is, remember this works only when there are no zeros in the digits and the digits are not repeated. So somebody gives you 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 5 numbers and they ask you to find out the sum. What you will do? Let's look at that one. So I have been given digits 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I was asked to find out sum of all the numbers, all the 5 digit numbers which are formed from 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 without repetition. My formula is, I will just find out what is n now. n is 5. So n minus 1 is 4. I need it. So I will go back to the formula that is n minus 1 factorial, 4 factorial multiply with sum of all the digits that's equal to 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 then i have to multiply that with 1 1 1 1 i have to write n times that's nothing but 5 times here so my answer will be factorial 4 is 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 that's equal to 24 and sum of the digits 3 4 5 6 7 is 3 plus 4 is 7 7 plus 5 is 12 12 plus 6 is 18, 18 plus 7 is 25, so 24 into 25 and multiply that with 1000, oh, oh I have to add one more right, 5 ones I have to put, these are only 4, so it will be 11,111, that's equal to 600 into 11,111, so the formula is n minus 1 factorial multiply that with sum of all the digits and multiply that with 1 1 1 like that n times how many what is the value of n based on that we should be able to get the n times so that's how we can find out the sum of all n digit number this works out only when there is no zero in the digits and there is no repetition allowed if there is zero then it becomes little bit complicated because suppose i say now let us say instead of 123 the digits given to us are 1 comma 0 comma 2 now i have to form three digit numbers like if i write earlier what i will write down 1 0 2 1 2 0 then i will say 0 1 2 0 2 1 2 0 1 2 1 0 now you see we don't have six three digit numbers we have only four three digit numbers because starting with zero they become two digit numbers that means i have to take care of them i have to subtract them 
wherever they are starting from zero. So that logic we will see in the next session where we'll extend this logic and try to subtract those numbers which needs to be excluded. So thanks for your time and support. I'll catch you once again. Bye for now.